Hi, I'm Coach Dan Clemens, and welcome to another edition of Tips for a Perfect Season. With me is Dr. Lynn Hellerstein, an optometrist. And Lynn, a lot of times we see a kid that we may think has, has a vision problem or may not be seeing quite right, whether that's you know missing, missing balls that are thrown to them or they're struggling at the plate a little bit. What are some, some signs? How do, how do you pick up that a kid might be having either some, some sight problems or some vision problems? Great question. You know, it's easy if a kid's squinting or covering an eye or closing an eye. That's very obvious physical kind sure. of symptoms. Uh, so that's the first thing you look for. But one out of four school-age children have vision problems, and many of those kids don't show the obvious signs. The other things, the more subtle signs, could be in their behavior. For example, take a kid who just works so hard. He's working and working and working, and he's standing there trying to hit the ball. He's giving it best effort, and you just see something's not right. You have this gut feeling. Right. Parents, coaches have those gut feelings, and they may see 2020, but something else is going on. So you look for the kid who's putting in lots of energy and just not getting the results. Sometimes it's a little more subtle than that, in that kid won't try. I'm not going up there and make a fool of myself. I'm not right. doing my homework. I'm not turning in the test. They avoid the situation before it happens. So they have behaviors that look like attention deficits or learning disabilities. Maybe there is, maybe there isn't a problem, but vision skills, a vision deficits and problems often mimic the behaviors of kids with learning problems and attention problems. So be preventive. All kids should have a vision check, not just a doctor's or a pediatrician screening, but a good eye exam by an optometrist to really look to make sure that you're really sending your kid to the baseball field being visually fit and to school with all the tools they need for learning. Great advice. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Coach. This has been another edition of Tips for a Perfect Season, and here's to your own perfect season.